very good morning so this particular uh, video give you information regarding that uh, act and rules that is important act and rules related to that agriculture so this will be given in three parts so the first act is uh, contract farming act uh, that is uh, came into force from may 2018 onwards another main thing with reference to this particular act is concerned the first day state to enact law on contract farming in india is tamil nadu and the contract farming act so that is mainly aimed for protecting the interest of the farmers because uh, the farmers they are doing that uh, contractual farming in that case that the farmers are considered to be a weak among the two parties in order to protect the interest of the farmers this particular contract farming act was uh, implemented so here that the farmer producer organization have a major role uh, particularly the promotion of the contract farming and services and they are empowered to uh, enter into the agreement on behalf of the farmers uh, with the sponsors so this are all the advantage of this one so contract farming act may 2018 uh, that came into force mainly to protect the interest of the farmers and model agricultural land leasing act 2016 so this is a legalized land leasing to promote agricultural efficiency equity and power reduction so to promote that agricultural efficiency they promote and the they formulated this particular model agricultural land leasing act uh, this will help uh, help the government to needed uh, um, productivity improvement in agriculture as well as the occupational mobility of the people and the rapid rural changes so this all the expectation by the government so by the way of implementing this particular model agricultural land leasing act 2016 then agriculture produce and livestock marketing promotion facilitation act 2017 so in short call aplm act so this will act aid the farmers in better price realizations because the farmers allowed to sell their produce uh, to the buyers of their choice so the middleman everything will be removed so because of that the farmer will get a better price for their produce and also the consumer also will get the produce at a, a lowest price so the consumer price also will come down and uh, government of india also uh, can easily achieve the goal of doubling the farmers income by 2022 and definitely this particular act will uh, boost the boat crossing industry to get uh, raw material at a lower prices so automatically the final product price also will come down and also this act will help the reserve bank of india in maintaining the healthy food inflations and another main thing with reference to this particular act that is aplm act 2017 is concerned this is going to replace apnc act agricultural produce marketing committee act 2003 then pesticide management bill so this is a recent one so uh, presented by the Honorable Agriculture Minister in the Rajya Sabha on March 23, 2020. Uh, mainly, they are seeking to regulate the manufacture, import, sale, storage, distribution, use and disposal of the pesticides. Uh, mainly to ensure the availability of safe pesticides and minimize the risk of human, animal and environment. So, these are all the main thing as far as the pesticide management bill. 2020 is concerned so the pesticide management bill seeks to replace the insecticide act 1968 so this bill will replace the insecticide act 1968 then food safety and standard act 2006 so an act to consolidate the laws relating to food so for the purpose only that food safety and standard act 2006 was uh, enacted uh, and also to establish food safety and standard authority of india so in order to effective implementation of this particular act this act give a provision for establishment of the food safety and standard authority of india and that uh, authority will develop a science-based standard for uh, articles of the food and also they they have to regulate manufacturing storage distribution and sales and import activity of the food and also they have to ensure availability of the safe and wholesome food for human consumption and matter connected with them so all those things are told by this particular act food safety and standard act 2006 
So in line with this particular act, that food safety and standard rules also issued in the year 2011. Then Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Act 2001, in short called as PPVFRA Act. So this act was enacted to grant intellectual property rights to plant builders, researchers and farmers who have developed any new or extant plant varieties. And uh, as per the provision available in this particular act and also the effective implementation of that PPVFRA Act, in the, the Government of India they established Protection of Plant Varieties and Farmers Rights Authority. So this authority for the implementation of the PPFRA Act uh, established on 11th November 2005. The headquarters is New Delhi. And also that PPVFRA Authority, they are giving a reward for the farmers in the name of Genome Savior. Mainly for the farmers really involved in the uh, conservation of the useful land races and wild relatives. Economically useful land races and wild relatives. And the National Food Security Act or Bill 2013. So July 30, 2013 this act was passed in the parliament. So as per that uh, Food Security Ordinance 2013 or Food Security Bill. Food grain plan to distribute in the public distribution system is rice, wheat and coarse grains and the ratio of distribution also 3 kg of uh, rice and 2 kg of wheat and uh, 1 kg of coarse grain per month and the food security ordinance 2013 the amount of food grain desired to distribute per household per month is 5 kg and amount of food grain distributed for family living below poverty line is 35 kg so these are all the things are available the National Food Security Act or Bill 2013. <coughs> the Destructive Insect and Pest Act, in short called as a TIP Act 1914, the very oldest act. So and this also is Act number 11 of 1914, passed by the Governor General of India in Council. Uh, so this is mainly to prevent introduction and uh, transport of pest, uh, I mean insect fungi and other pests from one state to another state in India. So those pests may be of uh, destructive to crops. If it is destructive to the crops, that should the prevent and that the movement transport should be prevented. That is the main aim of this particular act. Then Essential Commodities Act. So this is passed in the Parliament 1955. So this is uh, mainly used by the government to regulate the production, supply and distribution of the whole host of commodities it declared as essential, essential in order to make them available to the consumer at fair prices. So in total any uh, highly uh, demandful material the price are getting increased means at the time the government of India they will put that material under the essential commodities uh, uh, act uh, thing and that price everything will be fixed by the uh, that uh, government in order to offer uh, uh, for that food article or essential material to the consumer at a fair price. So a list of items are placed under that essential commodities. So that mainly includes drugs, fertilizer, pulses, edible oil, oil see, uh, edible oils, seeds and petroleum, petroleum products. So the several things comes under that essential commodities. And uh, center can include a new commodities. Anytime they can include a new commodity. Once that uh, situation gets smooth, and after that they can remove that commodity from the essential commodities list. So these are all the commodities right now uh, covered under the uh, placed under the essential commodities act. So totally 15 number of materials, uh, starting from cattle powder, oil cake, and other concentrate coal including uh, that coke and other derivatives component parts of and accessories of the automobiles cotton woolen textiles drugs footsteps iron and steels and petroleum petroleum product raw cotton raw jute to jute textiles fertilizers yarn seeds of food crops seeds of fruits and vegetables seeds of cattle and po cattle powder and jute seeds so these are all the material right now put it under the essential commodities act the latest addition is that uh, seed particularly that uh, jute seeds added in the essential commodities so these are the things i wanted to share with you in the first part in the second and third part remaining thing i will try to give you thank you very much